So there's a lot going on here. Let me see if I can put it all together. We have this chemical reaction and they didn't give it to us balanced. So they wanted it even more difficult than it already was. To balance it, we have two nitrogens. So we'll put a two here, so we have two nitrogens. That then gives us five oxygens here. Four plus two gives us six, so we need a one half in front of the oxygen. But we don't want fractions, so we'll multiply everything through by two, and this will be our balanced chemical reaction. Initially, we have 0 0.100 ATM N2O5, and it, it and an initial amount of zero on the other two. Then as the equilibrium, not equilibrium, but then as the reaction proceeds for an, a particular amount of time, which we'll be determining, the N2O5 will decrease by uh, 2x because of its coefficient of two and then this will increase by 4x and O2 will increase by x. So at equilibrium, or maybe we could just say final after a particular amount of time, we get 0 0.100 minus 2x, and O2 is 4x, and O2 is x. They tell us that the sum after a particular amount of time is 0.145 atm, this then allows us to solve for x, where the total pressure is 0.145 atm and is equal to 0.1 plus 3x. So x then becomes equal to 0 0.015 atm, but the pressure of N2O5 will be 0.1 minus 2x at that time or 0 0.07 atm. Now finally, we can use the first order integrated rate law in order to calculate the time that has elapsed. The first order integrated rate law tells us that the natural log of the amount at time t, that is 0 0.07 atm for N2O5, divided by the amount or pressure of N2O5 at time zero, that is 0 0.1 atm, will be equal to negative k, k is provided at 7.48 times 10 to the negative 3, 1 over seconds, multiplied by time. We then solve for time and we get 47.7 seconds have elapsed. If we want to solve for the time required for the total pressure to become 0.2 atm, then we'll go back to this. Again, the total pressure is 0 0.100 plus 3x. We'll set that equal to 0.2 and then solve for x at 0 0.033. Then the pressure of N2O5 will still be 0.1 minus 2x or 0 0.033. So now using the first order integrated rate law, we've got the natural log of the amount at time t of N2O5 at 0 0.033 atm divided by the initial amount of 0.1 atm will be equal to negative k multiplied by t, and the time will be 147 seconds. Now for part c, we'll take this first order integrated rate law and rearrange it slightly, so we get the natural log of the pressure of N2O5 at time t will be equal to negative k multiplied by the time that has elapsed. They now want us to determine the total pressure after 100 seconds, so it'll be negative k multiplied by 100 seconds plus the natural log at the pressure at time zero. That used to be over here as a minus, which then gave us this ratio. So remembering our log rules, we can pull it out of the log and then add it to both sides. This gives us the natural log of the pressure of N2O5 after 100 seconds of negative 3.05 we take the anti-natural log of both sides, that's e to the, e to the negative 3.05 is 0 0.0473. Now that is the pressure at uh, time at 100 seconds of N2O5, which is 0 0.1 minus 2x. So 0 0.1 minus 2x is equal to 0 0.0473 
and we can solve for x. x is 0 0.0263. Now knowing x, remember the total pressure is equal to 0.1 plus 3x. So the total pressure will be 0.1 plus 3 times 0 0.0263 or 0 0.179 atm. I hope that helps. That was quite a bit.